she's a queen indeed And she got a cooking skills that's so unique If you don't know her name, her name is Queen Phil Look, subscribe to her channel I want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy yourself today. Before I start my day, I always take my green tea first with lemon and apple cider vinegar before I do any other thing. I want you to sit down, sit back and enjoy this video. I know you will enjoy it. You can also make your green coffee and drink with me. Cheers, my love. Eforero. On my night now I have cleaned and prepped everything like I've prepped everything really nicely spinach being washed everything like really thoroughly washed now I've got here my locust beans that's dawa dawa two um, bell pepper two onions ginger garlic habanero pepper four but if skip it if you don't want anything skip it that's my stock fish I've cooked it already and that's my dry fish I mean I've got this recipe already that's my mother Africa pan yeah. that's my, my almighty prawns <laughs> another diced onion, onion, onion and, and then salt and any season I've got crayfish I've got as well and, and, and that's my salt and uh any seasoning yes <laughs> yeah that's my bell pepper the red, pepper, one, the red one i used to and so also oh, ahead, my meat oh, i marinated it overnight now I, let me show you how i did I it marinated it overnight so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i marinated my meat and also i'm gonna go ahead and blend this uh veggies and i'm gonna have this again with my pounded yam pounded that's how the nigerian call it pounded yam with effa rebo all right my beloved so i want a good flavor in my meat my assorted meat so i've got here bay leaf i want that natural flavor that is why i'm using the bay leaf and also here i've got stock I've got salt, cumin, white pepper, black pepper. So I'm gonna sprinkle it all over the meat. And then with this, this is my ginger and garlic paste. If you want me to make this recipe, I would make it on uh, Queen's Cuisine. So I'm scooping five full spoons of, uh, teaspoons of garlic and ginger paste. No, let me add one more because I want that flavor flavor now i'm gonna make sure that i mix everything together until everything is really well combined put it in the fridge and let it sit overnight so i'll see you tomorrow go with it Bye. yes my beloved so after blending this this is what i got i don't want it too smooth now i'm gonna go ahead with my dry fish i'm gonna go ahead take off the steak and then the head everyone wanted but every bone in it i'm going to take it off now let's see how the assorted meat is doing this is the residue that i got i added a bit of water so i'm going to pour it on my meat i want different types of flavor <laughs> yes um so now this one is also really hot yeah let's see and then also we don't want the palm oil to burn so as soon as you add the palm oil um add your diced onion Okay, and then give it a stir. We don't want it to burn. This residue. A four red row. My Niger friend, oh my Niger. Just teach me how to pronounce it well. A four red row. This is Nigerian spinach too. soup. That's how they call it. A ferrero is their soup. No, it's just like our normal spinach, but it's not the same actually because they don't add a uh, gushi and then uh, eggs and all that, but we do. So the sauce is simmering really nicely. I'm going to saute the prawns, add a little salt, and then mix everything together really well. So let's go ahead and see. I have lowered um, the electric, okay? You don't have to cover it totally when you're cooking because we don't want it to we don't want it to boil. We want it to fry really well. Now this is my locust beans. That is dawa dawa. Add it, okay? And then I'm gonna add my stock fish. I'm adding it really early because I want that infusion. You know, I want the, the, the juiciness and the sweetness and the um, stockfish to come into the stew. 
Okay, now what you have to do is that this is my prawns. I'm going to add it because I'm going to cook it in the stew for like five minutes and I'll bring it out again. The oil depends on how much you want it. If you want more oil, you can add more oil. But I would advise that you don't eat too much oil, either palm nut or whatever. Just in moderation is okay. Now, the next thing is that I'm not adding my salt and whatever seasoning now. You can add whatever seasoning because the stock fish has got a little bit of saltness in it. And then this is my fish. I've taken the head and every unwanted part. It is going to come a bit later. Now, you know that the meat is not too hard. But with the cow foot and the rest, it's really, really hard. So now I'm going to go ahead, remove my meat and then probably I'll fry it a little bit. Or you can grill it if you want. So I'm going ahead to remove everything. Yes, my beloved. So now I'm going to go ahead and start frying my meat. So we're gonna fry it like 20 minutes or fry it the way you want it. If you want it brown, leave it and then be turning it around, flipping it like every 10 minutes and then it's gonna be brown. Okay, so now what we're gonna do next is that my, if you have, I didn't add promo, that is the way the cow skin, I didn't add it, but I have shaki in there. I've got cow fort and all that. Here, the prawns is okay. You need to remove all the prawns because we don't want to overcook, overcook the prawns. And mind you, my dry fish, everything has been washed. My spinach, it's been washed. Everything has been washed thoroughly. So wash your things really, really, really nicely. Wash it well. So this is a good time to taste for salt. Add your salt or any seasoning now. Yes, my beloved. So everything is okay. Like my meat is ready. I'm still cooking my cow food and the shaki. You know what it is, right? So I'm, go I'm going to head to remove the beef. It's done now. This is how I want it. So I'm gonna remove everything. Yes, my beloved. Okay, so as you can see, the sauce has reduced in quantity. That's how we want it. So cook your cow foot and your tripe for like an hour. And then the next thing that also goes in is my fried beef. course my fish my homemade um, what do you call it dry fish mud fish cut fish we call it arjuni in my language arjuni in everything is soft already so I don't need to overcook it I'm gonna leave it for like two minutes and then when we come back I'm gonna put the spinach and then the crayfish and then the prawns so stay tuned my beloved <laughs> yes my beloved so it's been three minutes and it's slowly cooking so now what i'm going to do is that this is my crayfish add your crayfish it's a lot <laughs> like i told you i love tasty food you know i add my crayfish you give it a gentle stir be careful because of the fish so you need to be careful when you're giving it a stir this is my spinach you can use any vegetable of your choice, but I'm using this. This is coco yam leaf. Okay, I've washed it, clean it, chop it into the way I want it. Now you put everything into the. They call it the Nigeria my Nigeria. Where you say now? Where my Nigeria friends stay now? <laughs> so they call it soup. Hmm. Finish soup. That's how they call it. Efe, efe, rero. Oh. So you know spinach it's not really difficult to cook what you need to do is i don't give it a stir because if you stir it everything is going to automatically come off so you just cover it and leave it for five minutes in five minutes time we'll come back and then we'll give it a, a beautiful stir stay tuned yes my beloved so let's see what's happening here oh my god you see it has also reduced in size now i'm gonna give it a stir Efo Revo. This is Nigerian soup or Nigeria soup. Yeah. Efo Revo. 
Ma omo Naija, I wish me at the open at the at the mention on Wello. <laughs> if it's not correct, you can correct me under the description box below. A fort where bro, that is Nigerian soup. Now it's all done. I'm gonna add my almighty prawns. This food looks beautiful and colorful. I love it. I love it. And the taste is as you, you can imagine the crayfish has given it a taste. And I used a lot of onion, like three onion. I, I blended two and I chopped one as well. This is the ish. It's all done now, so I need to dish it. And you can see the fish the fish didn't break you know it depends on how you stir your food <laughs> so nice like it tastes so yummy just make some look at the fish the whole fish oh my days yes my beloved so this is my omonaija my nigeria efo rero soup and you can actually have this with pounded yam your rice plantain ripe plantain the green one cocoa yam just name it you can have it with anything that you want to have it with this is so tasty hi y'all i hope you did enjoy this video please if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed like what are you waiting for you need to subscribe to join this amazing family yo <laughs> oh the stew is really really nice oh my god make it me i tell you see this is your stew right eh? it took me to infinity and i don't want to come back it's so nice so if you haven't sub um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and also if you haven't tried nigeria if raw soup before please try it it's so nice it's just like the way we Ghanaians we prepare our uh let's say contemporary stew or spinach stew it's just that like they don't add a eggs and then a gushi to it and all that oh manager i dare your talk now make you know what can pass so if you know subscribe make you subscribe now share it among your family oh don't go, go walk up past this channel now you you could enjoy this channel <laughs> anyway if you're passing by for the first time my name is queen phil nana if you are uh reese and this is queen's because it will be so appreciated if you enjoy this or appreciated if you enjoy this amazing family please do subscribe share among your friends and then also don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find this be literally if you find this video interesting to be candid with you i want to say thank you to my subscribers my loyal subscribers you know food is how you make it i show you my version and you can also add your twists and turns to it also please do well to check my other channel you will love it it's called queen field daily i know you love it you know what babe i love you I do. When I say I love you, I really do. I love you to the moon and back. Yo, happy be you a babble. Respect and stay hard. Bye. <laughs> Have a band. Bye. Yeah. All your favorite dishes. Turn you to a chef by watching all of her videos.